on his Mazda, I got a code P1250. According to the code and the manufacturers, the problem is with this little unit, PRC pressure, fuel pressure regulator solenoid control unit. Okay, I put a 10 millimeter wrench on it and I can remove these bolts super easily. There we go. I already have cleaned these vacuum hoses around and have partially removed this plug so you're gonna need to put your hands on it a little better than this because I have just pre-loosened everything. That's how it comes apart. Make sure when you take these hoses off, don't break off this plastic little uh, ends. Like I said, it's gonna be coming apart with a little more grunt than this because I have already pre-loosened and taken everything apart. Now, according to the troubleshooting manual, there's got to be continuity between those two electrical connectors there. So that's next. Now I can't hold it with one hand and no, I don't have continuity, but I do have resistance. Let's see if you can see any of those numbers. There, I have 44, whatever, 43 ohms of resistance. That's basically good. You can barely hear it. It's such a faint audible signal that it's that it's barely even anything. It works fine this way, but you really suck it this way. So anyhow, and there should be vacuum between some of these ports. This would be port A, from which I just took off the square unit, port A, port B, and port C. I'm gonna check it with a hand vacuum, uh, vacuum pump. This, this is an air fill, it really does come off this easily. It sucks in air through the square openings, that's the intake and and it transfers it to the round side and it's, the engine is sucking air through both of these and uh, there should be air flow between these three ports in a special pattern, I'll show you. I typed into the Google search P1250 and this came up, this is a forum uh, there's the website for it and when I scroll down on this one there's an excellent picture of the PRC solenoid valve is there which we looked at in the car and if I scroll down a little bit I've got this one so this is the unit there's the air filter at the at the end of it how do I do this Okay, I took the air filter off of here. There's that little air filter thing. And there should be continuity between those two, between ground and the brown wire. Okay, well, the, uh, the actual, not the wire, the actual terminals. And between ports B and C, there should be air flow. And between ports A and C, so that would be A and C, sorry, A and B, A and B, my bad, my bad, A and B and B and C. So between A and B and B and C, that should be airflow. So let's check it out. So here is the unit. Let's take off the air filter and let's check out the vacuum with this ever handy vacuum pump. This needle will indicate the vacuum for us and I just found a fitting which looks like so there is my back, white background this fitting just happens to fit on any of these ports so there should be vacuum between between ports A and B and that and that so if I push these two together the I'm just gonna rotate it around there should be air sucked in through B but there isn't, look, there's vacuum. Vacuum is increasing. If I take it off, that's when the vacuum is released, there. 
not good so it's not sucking in air through port A where it should look at that it makes vacuum which where it shouldn't so port A is there's something wrong with port A for sure let me just check it between ports B and C let's, let's see I'm gonna rotate it yet again sorry so you can see the instrument there so I'm pumping it and the needle is moving but it, there is no vacuum it's not making vacuum because the air is flowing through as it should if I seal this hole with my with my thumb there okay wait a sec fell apart just give me a sec okay so I'm gonna be pumping to make vacuum I'm gonna seal the hole now there is vacuum which which is released with my thumb now there is vacuum now so ports ports B and C check out but A and B don't now I'm thinking uh, there should be some kind of clog in there this is a sealed unit there's nothing I can take apart on it so how about if I well if I blow some air through B out on A because it's taking air in from this way so this is its normal airflow so how about if I blow air in this way see if I uh, well I can't be any worse than this see if it fixes just see what happens all right airflow through B let's seal up port C see what happens nothing okay there is air in the airline here or the bone so if I seal port C with my hand here thumb and try to try to blow air through port B nothing much happens if I don't seal it I just flipped it around air goes through from B to C so that's good I can feel it in my face that it's coming through port B yeah yeah I can feel it on my thumb here okay how about from port A see if anything comes out at port B let's see air does come out at port B now hmm nothing spectacular cleared or anything so yeah, it's coming through port B okay all right let's check it with this vacuum hand pump see what happens now through port A okay I'll just flip it around so you can see it port A still makes vacuum hmm there is no airflow alright I don't know what to do now so I guess I'm gonna have to compare this one with the vacuum get vacuum hand pump here in a store with a, with a new a functional one see how airflow happens between A and B because the manual says there should be no vacuum anywhere there should be airflow between A and B and uh, there is with the compressed air through A in at A and out at B but not the other way around if, even if I seal up port C and uh, well, I'm not gonna take the compressor to the uh, store but I can take this one and see what a new one does well I do know that the engine code that I deleted with the code reader did not come back after a month okay so this is what I would call a jiggle and clean the part the parts operation doesn't quite conform to what was written in the service manual but that service manual was for protege 5 and this is just protege same year so I don't know how much difference that makes but uh, no more engine light no more trouble code and the solenoid works 
I guess it just needed uh, good electrical contact, clean it up a little bit. Uh, if it, if if the old connection just has one grit of dirt underneath and it sucks just a little false air, uh, it can give you a trouble code. So could be any one of those. Jiggle and clean.